I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, ooh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Simba, get out of here. Get out of here. What is this? This is a sponsored video, so just, I want to do a disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. This product was sent to me for free. 100% free, no shipping, nothing from Reptizoo. Two conditions only. An unboxing video and a video of me setting it up for a reptile. Those are the only conditions. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts. I can set it up however I want. I can put whatever I want inside of it. And that's great. Because uh, I don't want to do any type of sponsorships without, you know, making sure that I can do what I want. <coughs> I want to give you guys my honest opinion uh, and everything like that. So I want to say thank you to Reptazoo. Let's hope it's not broken in here. Because most people don't reach out to me for a sponsorship, uh, which is interesting. People, they seem to, reptile stuff seem to give to people who just keep reptiles as pets. And you see them sponsored all the time. But Reptazoo reached out to me and they said, hey, we want to sponsor you. We like you rescuing reptiles and actually educating people on how to take care of reptiles correctly. And um, that meant a lot to me. And, you know... I made sure there were no conditions, like I said, and the rep was nice to work with. And first they gave me a couple products, and I said, no, I want to do this. I want a larger tank than what you said, and that's all I want. Uh, and they said, okay. And I, because, guys, you know, when sometimes people are shopping around, you, you don't have the choice. You, you would love to go to a website and buy the enclosure and a backdrop and a water bulls and hides and fill up the shopping cart to wazoo. But times are tough. So what ha what can you do if you just want to get a good enclosure? Well, I'm going to give you spoiler alerts. I actually own a couple of reptile, uh, reptizoo enclosures before. And uh, we'll talk about them. Because as you guys know, I've got Exoterra. I've got Carolina Customs. Oh, I've got Zoomed. I've got Animal Plastics. I've got Cages with a K. So I think one of the first things you guys will notice, though, this is going to be a glass enclosure, front opening, screen top, okay? Look at the box that this comes in. This is not a pre-built giant enclosure like you get with an Exoterra or with a zoom ad. So there are some steps that are going to be to this compared to the other tanks. But Reptitsu does some really cool things and I was really hoping this would keep going and it is. And this is awesome because it's honestly going the extra step that they don't have to do. I'm going to bring you up so you can take a look at what's going on inside here. All right. Here is what we look at from the top, so basic enclosure, styrofoam, that's nice. Do you see that right there? And the other one is over there. Guys, these are white cloth gloves. So when you're putting in the glass, you're not getting fingerprints in areas that you don't, you know, want to have fingerprints in. That's going to be hard to clean. They go above and beyond and give you cloth gloves. I loved that about Reptizoo and I actually use a pair of Reptizoo gloves to put together other glass things, not just reptile takes, that I don't want to get fingerprints on. It's amazing. 
Let me get this out of here and then we'll see what's going on. Okay, I've taken that out of the box so it sits just like it is. And the cool thing about Reptazoo is this is actually the base, but it has the screen top just sitting in it uh, because the pieces fit like that. But the base comes pre-assembled, which is why, what is an importance about this that maybe Exoterra and things don't have? This is waterproof. That's right. And you can get these guys at different thicknesses. So this is waterproof. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's keep unboxing. Okay, we're in the box. Please find accessories at the next layer. Okay, I don't mind if I do. Now we're doing this live, guys, because if anything comes broken, I'm going to want to make sure you guys see all of this. So we're going to do it live. This is how the second layer looks. Here's going to be our glass pieces. This is the plug for the, uh, the grommet opening on the side of the glass. Throw that over there. Just we've got, I believe these are our corner posts. No, these are for the doors actually. I can see where the little metal rods go in. We have the metal rods and then some posts. Some screws. A generous two keys on suction and the screwdriver built in that we'll need but obviously you can use your own and little plugs to cover the screws after not stickers actual rubber plugs isn't that awesome and guys I'm doing this on the floor kind of nonchalant because I really want to simulate this for you guys yeah I've got a table a construction table I can put this on but how many people in their home have a cleaned construction table with great lighting I'm gonna say not many so but maybe you buy this you're sitting on the family room floor with your kids you spread this out you're going to assemble it you're going to put it together with them and it's going to be an experience and that's what we're going to see in these upcoming episodes let's get this out of here so there was nothing under that styrofoam this is good packaging guys if this is a cardboard box and we have a sheet of styrofoam in just this, we don't got 500 bags. There's not a huge cleanup. We do have to open the glass, but look at how clean this is so far. I really like this. I was about to open the glass, but I had to look at their gloves. I just saw them and guys, they, yeah, these are Reptizu branded gloves. They actually upgraded their gloves from being just full cloth to actually having some grips on the inside that's amazing because the only time I was scared sometimes with the other ones that stuff would slip but their gloves have grips now you call this a knife yes it's a like half tang but it's sharp I sharpen hand sharpen this let's cut me cut into this and we'll look at the glass okay so we cut that open we open it we've got this wrapping open it cut these straps that are on the inside and here is our glass and yes it's cut so it is tempered glass and this configuration yeah i believe has some sort of a side vent the cool thing about these guys if you look at them i want to say they're kind of modular where you could get four you know well three uh, back two sides and the front doors with no side screens or you could get a small side screen or one of the sides can be a full metal screen um, so you do have kind of a lot of options which is really cool in fact Simba's baby enclosure if you look at it was one of these but okay this has been great I don't see any broken glass it's all wrapped I see the hole cut out for the grommet for wires to feed in this is cool because they put the wires in the side uh, rather than the top so it keeps a clean top look if you mount everything. But this has been the opening, the unboxing. I think in the second episode, we're going to build this sucker. And in the third episode, we'll review this sucker. Why did I choose the word sucker? I don't know. All right, guys. Take care. Hope you've enjoyed part one. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.